welcome back to Secret Sauce. I'm very excited about this episode because today we're making ceviche de pescado con salsa de maní. That is fish ceviche with peanut sauce. That's right. Yes, it's still a ceviche from Ecuador. We're finally gonna make chifles homemade. Following a recipe that says use a green plantain, use a freaking green plantain. This is not a banana, this is a plantain. You see the difference? This is a banana. This is a plantain. Banana, plantain. Yeah, it's good here. And then just score it. Okay, so we're gonna use a mandolin for this part. Mandolins give you uniformity and thinner than a knife. Thinner slices compared to a knife. That's it, slice your plantains. And of course, if you don't have a mandolin, yes, you can use a knife. We're gonna let these sit out for a few minutes before frying them. A little technique. The thing is you want these to come out crispy and crunchy like a chip. You don't want them soft like a fritter, but make sure the oil is hot before you start frying. I've been making balón de verde a lot at home. I haven't done it on secret sauce. So you can cut them in larger chunks, fry it, and then smash it. You don't have to thin slice it like this. But yeah, in all, all the times I've worked with green plantain, I've noticed that it takes up a lot of oil. They should be thin. Perfect color. Maybe they're sliced a little bit too thick. Now. This is the real fun stuff, you guys. This is fish ceviche, meaning it's raw. There are so many opinions on fish safety. The best advice is for this particular dish, make sure you get the best quality. This ceviche is a white fish. So I decided to do mostly snapper and a little bit of yellowtail in this combo. You don't need to do a combo. In fact, normally there is no combo. It's just one white fish, traditionally speaking. Mix it, salt it. An amazing, beautiful bowl of limes, Chad. Oh, I love lime. Ah! Hard to juice, man. I'm taking the pulp out with this strainer, you guys. There's a lot of it. Okay, so we have our fresh squeezed lime juice, of course, and our fish. And then we're gonna pour over the lime juice. Oh, oh my goodness. It is changing, it's getting whiter. The fish is getting white, whiter. The texture will also change. We're gonna add a little bit more salt. Mmm. So this is going in the fridge. In the fridge. I'm gonna do half of this. We're gonna make little, little diced pieces. All right, we got cilantro. This is cilantro, coriander. We call it cilantro here. Ah! How could I forget the peanut sauce? So it's supposed to be a peanut sauce, peanut paste. Don't get regular peanut butter. You have to get something that's just roasted peanuts. No, nothing added if you're not gonna blend peanuts yourself. So for the peanut sauce, we just add water to make a sauce out of this. Aguacate! Aguacate! Okay, the color has changed. It's all white. Even the yellowtail, which is a little bit more pink, it totally changed. So yeah, it looks good. Green bell pepper, this isn't spicy. Tomato, onion, cilantro or coriander. 
Oh, avocado? Mm. Avocado. <sighs> Salt. And now, last but not least. There we go. I'm so excited! I'm so excited! And you guys have no idea. This is the moment of truth, you guys. This is the real moment of truth. Little crunch, crunch, crick, crack. Chief lace inside. These are plantain chips. Ah! The moment of truth. The moment of truth. Moment of truth is here. Wow. This is beautiful. <laughs> This is one of, does, yeah, if I could, I would be doing seven backflips right about now. Dude, this is insane. This is next level. Mmm. 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 Que rico. Mm, 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 mm. We have a winner. This is crazy. This is so bizarre. I knew it was a bizarre dish on paper, but once you try everything, once you actually eat it, the peanut and the lime and the fish, it's just beautiful. I really appreciate all of the Ecuadorian dishes I've tried up until this point. They use a lot of familiar ingredients, but also combinations that might sound a little bit weird for us Americans at first. But dude, it works. It just clicks. It's so freaking delicious. Mmm. 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 Ah, oh, dude, what? How? <laughs> I'm telling you, I've been making a lot of balon de verde off of stream just for myself. And then like watching different Ecuadorian recipes on YouTube and I love seeing all the wholesome comments from people saying they're from different parts Different parts of Latin America like oh, I'm from so-and-so. I'm from Colombia. I'm from Venezuela I'm, I'm from Nicaragua and I love Ecuadorian food. It's really cool to see. I feel it's a really unique and Definitely lesser known cuisine. That's for sure. All right, you guys that was super fun. I'm so happy we finally got to try this recipe. Dude, you should go, you, you just have to try it. There are no, there are actually no words. The combination of the peanut paste, peanut sauce with the lime is perfection. If you're familiar at all with Thai food or Southeast Asian dishes, it might start to make sense in your head a little bit. It freaking works, trust me. It's very easy to make, so try it out. If you do make this yourself, don't forget to tag me on socials or whatever, and um, let me know you watch this whole video without telling me you watch this whole video by uh, leaving a comment below. All right, bye.